Hi again then and welcome. Today is day 7 and we're going to be discussing today why you will always fail with fat loss if you cannot balance your hormones and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do about it, alright? So let's get cracking. Okay, so first of all, why do hormones matter? Well, if your hormones are out of sync, then all the exercise and some of the dieting that you've been doing in the world is only going to get you very, very, very limited results. You're going to have poor, poor results if you don't uh, kind of focus on uh, what actually matters, which is your hormones, okay? Your results are definitely going to suffer. Um, but which hormones are the most important? Now, there are three main hormones that people tend to have a problem with, and they are cortisol, estrogen, and insulin. Um, so on this presentation, I'm going to be discussing um, what you need to do and how, can, how you can balance those hormones and kind of why those hormones are the main problem, especially when it comes to... Um, fat loss. So, um, all these hormones, yep, are actually pretty much linked together. And typically, if you can kind of deal with one hormone, if it's out of balance, you tend to find that other hormones will be out of balance as well. So, if you deal with one, it tends to have a knock-on effect on on a couple of others as well. So, as an example, you'll find that if your cortisol is high, your testosterone will actually be low, and then if your testosterone is low, your estrogen will be high. So. Um, Basically, if you're kind of dealing with your cortisol issue, you'll also um, increase the amount of testosterone that your your body um, has as well, which is a good thing in terms of fat loss. Um, and also, you'll lower the amount of estrogen that's in the system as well. So, if estrogen is high um, as a result of your high cortisol, then you most likely as well also have uh, blood sugar and insulin problems as well. Um, and again, that's not good if you're looking to lose body fat and keep in good shape and maintain your weight as well. So you need to deal with all of these things and that just kind of gives you an indication of how they're, how they're linked. And if you deal with one, it tends to have a knock-on effect with the others. So uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how to deal with it and how you can balance uh, cortisol. Okay, so let's go through that. First thing we're going to be doing on the Rapid Fat Loss Blueprint is removing all toxins from your food and your household products and sort of any known allergens that you know that you're intolerant to as well. Um, any toxins that your body puts into the system through your food and through your shower gels, your toothpaste, general household products as well, um, puts a massive, massive stress on the body, especially the food that you're eating, puts a massive stress on the digestive system. If your digestive system is, is stressed, um, that gonna, that is gonna in itself is gonna put a massive stress on the body as well. So we're gonna be um, transforming your diet a little bit, uh, helping you remove and eliminate all those toxins, so your body can get rid of them, get them out of the body, get them out of the system, um, and improve that digestive system, which is gonna have a massive uh, effect in terms of dealing with your cortisol issue. Um, we're also gonna be increasing the amount of sleep time and the quality of your sleep as well. Um, that is gonna increase the amount of growth hormone that your body produces which is a great in terms of fat loss it's an actually a fat burning hormone but it's also an anti-aging hormone which I discussed earlier in the fasting uh, videos that we covered that you uh, would have watched um, so yeah do increasing the amount of sleep and the quality of the sleep is going to be uh, really important to help you deal with your cortisol issue um, get into bed by about 10.30ish and making sure your room is completely dark. The darker your room, the more um, of your body's sleep hormone, melatonin, will be actually released into the body so your body will get a better quality of sleep. So making sure you've got no kind of lights, no electrical equipment um, nearby your bed um, and just making sure the bedroom is as dark, no kind of flashing kind of uh, alarm clocks and things like that um, flashing off and that, that will disrupt your amount of sleep hormone so you're getting less quality sleep which means more uh, stress on the body. Um, we're going to also be improving your diet, there's cold baths that we integrate into the program as well and in some cases magnesium can help too with people that have got a really um, really poor quality sleep and can't sleep none. Um, we're also going to be carbohydrate cycling, uh, which we've discussed on a little bit about uh, on another video about carb cycling in detail. But um, carb cycling is actually going to improve your insulin sensitivity and it helps your body deal with cortisol a hell of a lot better. Um, if your body's dealing with cortisol a lot better, then you'll have a lot less body fat. Um, yeah, which I haven't mentioned actually is um, the more 
uh, cortisol your body produces, the more likely you are to store fat, especially in the stomach and around the belly area. Okay, um, so dealing with your cortisol will mean you'll have less belly fat. So simple as that. And carb cycling is one way to do it. Um, we're also ever so slightly going to be raising insulin just post workout. Now, um, if we do that, that's going to increase the uh, sorry decrease the amount of cortisol that your body produces after your workout as well because exercising is a stress to the body but it's a good stress um, but you, your body will produce some cortisol after um, you work out we're going to just help you decrease it um, slightly by spiking insulin ever so slightly by using uh, a protein powder that's a vegeta vegetarian based protein powder that's not got no um, hormones and it's got no wheat, no dairy or anything like that in in the protein which you'll get with your kind of store bought ones you ones from your Holland and Barrett and you get in your supermarket so um, raising insulin through our protein intake is going to be better than spiking insulin with uh, high carbohydrates as well okay so that's one other thing that we're going to use to deal with cortisol other um, things that we're going to be using a shorter workouts now after 45 minutes of exercise, sheer intense exercise, um, your body is actually going to start to produce more cortisol. Okay, um, so any workouts lasting longer than 45 minutes are just going to not help you with your problem. Basically, so our workouts are going to be a lot shorter. Typically, they'll be between six minutes and max of about 30, 40 minutes tops. 30 minutes ish for some of the workouts, and the majority of, of them will be six to ten minutes long. Okay, short little intense bursts of workout. Okay, um, we're also going to be taking licorice teas and Tulsi teas. Um, these are going to help balance the amount of the rise and fall, the natural rise and fall of your cortisol. Um, what licorice tea does is actually it help you in the morning. Your cortisol levels will naturally rise as you wake up, which is what should happen. Um, but what you'll tend to find with people. Um, that in the morning they'll struggle to get out of bed, they'll be absolutely tired, they won't want to get up, they'll have low energy throughout the morning, um, and then on the evening they'll come back, they can't they can't settle, they can't switch off, they'll be awake all night, they'll have um, disturbed sleep, they'll be, um, you know, can't get back to sleep, and usually that that is a good sign to, um, to tell you that your cortisol level is out of balance, okay? You, it'll be upside down. Um, what licorice tea does is help that, Cortisol rise in the morning when it should be naturally rising anyway. So taking, so if, if that described you a little bit earlier when I was saying about your your sleep pattern and you're tired in the morning, can't get out of bed, and um, these teas are going to be really really important and essential for you guys. Um, but anyway, even if you that doesn't sound too much like you, it's going to still benefit you and improve uh, what where you're at at the moment. So um, licorice tea in the morning up until two o'clock, and then after two o'clock. We're going to be taking Tulsi teas, which is going to help lower that cortisol and make it naturally um, less in your body, so your body's preparing for improved sleep. And you can have as many Tulsi teas as you want throughout the day after 2 p.m. Okay. We're also going to be fasting, which takes away the stress of preparing meals every three or four hours, which is just an impossible way to kind of keep eating every three or four hours as well. Um, plus, the way fasting works, you're not going to be spiking your insulin. Um, every few hours as well which we'll discuss in a sec um, when we come to dealing with insulin um, so yeah taking away the stress and preparing meals it's much easier lifestyle of, of way to eat um, when you incorporate fasting into your lifestyle um, another big thing that I was big on is giving you kind of daily information rather than give you everything up front all in one go because what you'll get is so much information all, all the information in one go and you kind of don't know where to start, you don't know what to do, um, you panic and you just stress out about it and you think too much about it and you're not actually going to do anything about it um, in terms of dropping your body fat. So um, you're not going to get everything at once, you're going to get everything drip fed to you, I'm just going to show you what you need to do on that day. Um, so it's simple, straightforward and you, it's easy to follow. So that's how this program is going to work, you're going to get daily drip fed information. So that's your... Uh, Cortisol dealt with, we're going to be dealing with estrogen now. I'll show you the protocols we're going to be using for that. So, let's first thing is uh, we're going to be cleansing and eliminating, as we've discussed and again in previous videos. But um, 
when you are kind of toxic, when your your liver gets out completely overwhelmed uh, with the toxic buildup, that's when your body be stores fat. Okay, that's when your body will just start to store every, all those toxins in your fat stores, uh, which we discussed in the first Y Detox video. So, um, when that liver is overwhelmed and it can't it can't work properly, um, what it does naturally, what it would do is release um, chemicals into the blood that actually um, help your body clean up and collect hormones from the bloodstream. So more, more predominantly the, the sex hormones, so your estrogen and testosterone, your androgen hormones are the ones that your liver is going to clean up and collect them from out your body, um, throughout your bloodstream. But if the liver is overwhelmed by toxins then it's not going to do that job. Um, so by cleansing and eliminating and helping the liver um, you, the liver is going to be actually able to do its job properly. Okay, so that's why we're cleansing and eliminating, um, and some certain we're also eliminating certain foods that are estrogenic too. Um, so yeah, we'll be clearing those out of your body so that you're not putting more kind of uh, of those hormones back into your body that you don't want. Um, also, we're going to be including lots of green vegetables. So, You've also you've heard people all the time saying eat your greens, eat your greens. Um, there's a, the reason is there, there's a substance within green vegetables called indole three carbonyls. Um, what these do is actually bind estrogen and help your body eliminate it out of the out of the body. Um, so things more specifically your your spinach, your broccoli, your watercress um, are three of my favourites that really do a great job with that. Um, sprouts is another good good uh, green vegetable that you can use um, but I'm not a big fan I don't like sprouts to be honest um, but yeah I'll get plenty of watercress, spinach and broccoli into your body and into your diet and that's going to really help eliminate estrogen Okay. also we're going to be including liquid chlorophyll uh, which is what makes plants green um, that's going to help clean and purify the blood and help eliminate uh, a lot of the estrogens too, so that's great for that. Um, hydration as well, we're going to be drinking lots of water, now two, three litres at, at least a day, minimum. Because um, if you're dehydrated, your liver can't work as effectively at eliminating those toxins, so we need to get as plenty as hydrated as we possibly can. Um, we're also going to be including glutamine and some digestive enzymes as well. This is going to just improve your digestion again, which is going to um, help out with the liver. Okay, helping the liver out is going to is what's key to helping balance these hormones, especially estrogen. Again, we're going to be fasting as well, which is going to help with estrogen as well. This is going to give your li uh, liver and your digestive system a break, um, and it also speeds up detox because your body is not constantly um, dealing with um, your digestive system and having to kind of deal with toxins in. So it's going to help with getting them out and speed up detox process. So that's uh, estrogen dealt with. We're going to be dealing with insulin now. I'm um, going to show you how to balance that insulin. Uh, in a nutshell, basically too many carbohydrates and too much sugar is what makes you fat. It's got nothing to do, as I've said in other videos, with um, how much you eat and how much fat you eat. Um, that's what lots of people would like to lead you to believe, but... It, basically the reason you're overweight is too many carbohydrates and too much sugar and sugar finds its way into pretty much every single food all you have to do is look on the back of the of the food label you'll see how many grams of carbohydrates and how much uh, sugar is in is in all of the food you're eating and it makes its way into pretty much everything these days which is the reason you're overweight okay it's the main reason so um, dealing with that problem is going to be the key to dealing with your insulin Okay, and dealing with your fat, your your excess fat. This little model we've got here um, is going to kind of explain it in a graphic form, um, and kind of what you'll find. The red block across the middle is where your blood sugar should be, and it should be stable throughout the day. Slight peaks and troughs, but just very gradual peaks and troughs, not massive spikes and big drops. So what you'll find is if you eat carbohydrates or if you're craving carbohydrates you'll find that your body is, um, or you know, you're lacking energy all of the time, you'll find your body is hyperglycemic and that's when you tend to find you'll crave carbohydrates. Um, or even if you're not craving them and you do eat them anyway, what you'll find is that you'll be spiking your blood sugar 
uh, by eating those carbohydrates, you'll have a carb overload and you spike your blood sugar. What has to happen when you when you spike your blood sugar by eating um, things like your bread, your potatoes, your pasta, those refined carbohydrates and those sugars, um, your body has to, your pancreas has to uh, release insulin, um, which if you have an insulin spike, you, your body and you're having too many carbohydrates, um, the triglycerides will open up the fat cells, so you'll be more receptive to increasing those fat and those sugars will get stored within the fat cells. But what you'll also find is when you do um, eat a massive amount of carbohydrates or a carbohydrate based meal for your bread, your potatoes, your pastas and those kind of foods, um, you'll have a massive drop and a crash. That again, you'll be in, you'll be in a low blood sugar, um, there you'll be hyperglycemic and that also triggers cortisol which is again as we've discussed a fat storage hormone and one that you're not going to want to be triggering okay so that in a nutshell is kind of why your um, why your insulin is a problem and ha and the kind of things that you'll be seeing with your within when you're eating those kinds of foods and that's why you'll be experiencing some of those things that you are um, so dealing with that then is we're going to be predominantly a low carbohydrate um, meals uh, but we're also going to be carb cycling so when I say co uh, low carbohydrate um, it's more or less of the uh, starchy carbohydrates like your bread, your potatoes, your pastas, your cereals and that, those kind of things we're going to be cutting those out of your diet and we're also going to be carb cycling so we're going to be putting th we are going to be having some kind of carb but you're going to be getting them from um, sweet potatoes um, brown rice we're going to also um, more vegetable based carbohydrates okay those that aren't going to spike the, um, the insulin too much um, and also doing the carbohydrate cycling and low, having a low carbohydrate is also going to help improve your sensitivity towards carbohydrates when you see people that eat um, they can just get away with eating anything usually that's because they've got a good sensitivity towards carbohydrates so following this plan is going to help improve your sensitivity towards it to some degree okay um, we're also going to be including fish oil and the, there's so much information out there, lots of scientific data that supports fish oils in, um, in helping with insulin sensitivity. There's lots of research on uh, fish oils for all sorts of things but insulin sensitivity is, sensitivity is a big one. Same goes for resistance training and for fasting as well. Lots of scientific data that supports uh, that their role in helping with insulin okay so doing those kind of things on this plan is what we're going to be doing with you okay we're also going to be including glutamine on this plan um, which is going to replenish all the glycogen which basically glutamine um, rep replenishes glycogen without actually spiking the insulin spiking your insulin so when you kind of eat a meal you're going to rep replace the, 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 um, the glycogen stores that are in the muscle the stored sugar that's in the muscle you're going to when you eat carbohydrates, your body will repair, replenish the stores that you've just burnt off. But um, using glycogen is actually going to um, do that job without actually spiking your insulin too much, okay? Or at all. Um, it's also going to improve your digestion, which is again improves your insulin sensitivity, as we've discussed. So improving your digestion is key. And this program over the 21 days is really going to help with your digestion as well, especially if you suffer with any digestive problems. Um, and that's it basically, it's that simple, if you can balance those hormones then that is a real key to permanent fat loss, lots of energy, optimal health and it far outweighs any amount of exercise and calorie controlling that you, you body, you're probably doing and you've probably tried in the past. So, for more information uh, visit the rapidfatlossblueprint.com, you'll find all about the program um, and if you've got any questions still that you want to ask me, you visit facebook.com slash rapidfatlossblueprint and uh, I'll take any of your questions there. Um, just if you want to look at the box below now, there should be, if you want to get involved and take part in the Rapid Fat Loss Blueprint when it next opens, um, there should be a button be, uh, below this video just appearing right now that um, will help you kind of register and get involved. Um, what, you'll, what you'll get on, that, on this program is daily step-by-step -step instructions and support from myself, 24-7. You can ask questions in the group and I'll get back to you usually within the, within the hour. Um, you get exact workouts to complete and when to do them along with videos of each exercise, demonstrations so you know exactly what you're doing and you're doing it right. Um, you get a nutrition plan of what foods to eat, when to eat, including a cookbook as well. Um, you get access to me for the entire month to answer all your questions. As I've said, you get group support and accountability which is massive, um, 
massively important getting the accountability from your, your, peer, your, your peer group of people are all exactly the same position as you so you're not going to be going it alone as well keeps you really accountable um, you'll also get a supplement program uh, what to take, when to take, how much to take um, and also where to source the best pharmaceutical grade quality supplements and I can also help you with that in getting a discounted rate for my uh, clients and members too and we're also going to be uh, providing video coaching presentations such as this one similar to this one and webinars Q&A sessions as well um, so you'll be able to chat with me and I'll be able to help you and explain why you're doing what you're doing and so you can understand it and you can take those results forward in the future and continue with um, getting success out of the program so that's what you're gonna that's what is involved with the rapid fat loss blueprint if you want to get involved as I say hit the button below and we can register now and uh, I'll see you on the next uh, 21 day rapid fat loss blueprint hope to help you soon and guys thanks for watching